Oh, we weren't expecting. No. Like all of you. But no. Yeah. Well, I. Uh, they come in. Place a mess. So odds are you probably know one of us, but do you really know us? So that's why we made this short video to answer all of your questions. So hopefully you get to know us both a little bit better. With the help of our good friend Keith. Hello, I'm Keith Morrison. Anyway, to mark the occasion, somebody had the idea that we should ask the following question. We know a lot of you are on Facebook when you watch the program because we read the things you write. And so, all right, I'll read a story. In the evening, in the narrow streets of the big city. I met him in film school in 2007 in screenwriting class. He had big hair and flip flops. I was sold. She liked the, the idea that I was perhaps this laid back guy from Hawaii, though I only lived there for a semester, but I think I gave people the impression that I'd lived there my whole life. I found out he was from Wisconsin, a town called Appleton, which I thought was the most wholesome place in the world where they're probably making pies every Sunday. But it surprised me when I found out that she was from New Jersey, because that didn't seem to really connect with what I knew about people from New Jersey. They're usually very rambunctious and intense and, and often scary. This is being shown to people from New Jersey. They'll get a kick out of it. To kind of have a better idea of everything, we should go back to the beginning. You know, uh, that's a very long talk. I know. <laughs> I got something to show you, though. So everybody keeps wondering why I've kept my Volkswagen Beetle since 2002 for so long. I know, what is it about that? So the whole time, my car has been capable of time travel. OMG. I know, right? This is Appleton, Wisconsin, pride of the Fox Cities. You will note that I did not grow up on a farm, which is a common misconception. And despite its small town sounding name, it's not really that small at all. We're here in Caldwell, New Jersey, birthplace of Grover Cleveland. Oh, I like this town. It's, it's, I always think if I were going to live in a small town in America, this would be one of the ones I would look at very seriously. It's a small town. It's hard to go out without seeing someone you know. These are the places we spent the first 18 years of our lives. Here they come leaving the church. <laughs> As we set our course for the new millennium, we're beginning to find ourselves. Oh, 
we started to prove ourselves as athletes and began to create our own movies, slowly emerging from our shells to showcase our hidden talents. Here we are, Cole's prom, senior year. Shy? Is that the thing? You're shy except when you're on TV. Well, that's true now, but when we were younger, we fancied ourselves actors and directors. What are you doing here? Get back in the chilling room. Three, the other leaves have fallen. Are you French Canadian or English Canadian? I think I'm a little bit of both. I like a man who can't decide what he is. Looking for adventure. And whatever comes our way, born to... There's a sale at Fleet Farm. Is there? Yup. Let's go. Well, alias Dr. Kukaracha revealed through some wild footage discovered at one of his paramilitary encampments. This is a true story. How five girls picked to live in a house at the Jersey Shore. Can they survive? On the real world. Laura. Stephanie D. Joelle. Nicole. Stephanie Cross. <laughs> Taylor, what are you doing? My name is Nicole. I'm 16 years old. I decided to make sort of a documentary about a landmark in our town, the sanitarium. It's now 2003 and it's time for us to leave our hometowns. It doesn't matter what your age happens to be. We made it! Oh, God. College was a... Uh, it was, um... Mm. Uh, how do I say? You get very tongue-tied. Well, that was the problem. I always felt a little out of place too. The East Coast was a bit much for me. And I went to study abroad in Hawaii where I could slow things down and just sit out on... A lanai. Yes, except I didn't have one. After we graduated, we set our sights for film school in Los Angeles. It wasn't exactly following in the footsteps of our older siblings who went to medical or law school. It was more... Laziness? We just went in a more creative direction. And that's where we finally met. Love, as everybody knows, makes the world go round. We wrote, produced, shot, edited, and sometimes even did our own sounds for the movies we created in film school. Uh, some of it's pretty slapdash and lousy, frankly. Listen to me. This is what we're gonna do. Who is this? Some of it is absolutely terrific. To your left. A blimp, sir. Blimp, pilot. Flies a blimp, the blimp. Everybody likes guns. Attendance here is predominantly white males, with a tendency to lean to the right. But that doesn't mean it's a requirement. I'm the undefeated women's national champion. And um, this year, I will be competing against the boys. So, see how that goes. <laughs> and just like that, we were 20-something-year-olds with master's degrees, wondering, what now? Yeah, sometimes I feel 26. It's been quite a while. We worked various jobs in the film industry. I was a video editor, cutting together commercials. The Crafty Dancer started just two forty nine. I worked for a few different shows. Uh, is this some sort of theme song from Dawson's Creek? 
Is that right? <laughs> yes. Most of them were canceled. Then the whole industry looks bad. Indeed. That's why I gave it all up to fly airplanes. Actually, I flew you here today, isn't that right? The whole flight, I was on my hands and knees. When I got hired by the airlines, I began by flying jets out of Minneapolis to exotic locales like Minot, North Dakota. But when Brian finally got based in Los Angeles, I was busy working on a daytime talk show. You look good, girl! <laughs> We still managed to find time to work on our own video projects. This world is getting colder, strangers passing by. Mm -hmm. No one offers you a shoulder, no one looks you in the eye. Ah, ah. The testosterone filled the excess of the men with women in their roles instead. <laughs> Check it out. The gender flips a work of hide in a cold denial. Ride skateboards by the beach together or just enjoy each other's company. Oh, uh, well, that's very sweet of you. Eventually, our schedules improved, and combined with airline travel benefits, things really started to get interesting. Climbing up the Eiffel Tower. When you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. Hope when the water rises, you build a wall. Hope when the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. You fall in love and it hurts so bad. The only way you can know you give it all you had. And I hope that you don't suffer but take the pain. Hope when the moment comes, you'll say. I live. Alright, I call. <laughs> Hope that you spend your days, but they all add up. Hi. Welcome to Montgomery, Alabama. Colombo, Sri Lanka. The hills of Montenegro. Paris. Gatorland. Bosnia. In Nebraska. Until my moment comes, I'll say. Ah!